So if you're looking to build a website completely free on WordPress using ChatGPT or AI, then you are at right place. You can use the same process if you want to upgrade or update your existing websites as well. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step a beginner friendly process to build your website from scratch, even if you have zero coding skills. So by the end of this video, you will have an up and running website. Uh, hi, I'm Avdesh and for past few years, I have built dozens of websites on WordPress. And on this channel, I share how you can use AI to enhance your skills. At the end of this video, I'll also share some of the few resources which you can use to build AI apps and also AI agents uh, and take your AI learning to next level. So don't go anywhere and stay all the way to the end. Make sure you bookmark this video and subscribe to the channel. Now you may be wondering why are we using WordPress and ChatGPT and not any other AI website builder. Before going ahead, like, let's try to understand basics of building website. So when you build a website, uh, there are two components. So one is a hosting space, so place where you're hosting your website. And second is the website uh, itself, different components like, you know, pages and whatever you have. So if we have to compare it to kind of building a house, you can think that hosting space is like a land uh, which you buy or rent and your website is like a house which you build on top of it. With Words, WordPress, you get uh, ownership and control. So you can like, you know, practically move your website from one hosting provider to another uh, if you are like, you know, using WordPress to build your website. Uh, more than 43% of websites currently are running on WordPress. So it is a platform which is trusted by a lot of large companies and it is something which you can rely on um, if you want to scale up. You are kind of logged in a closed uh, ecosystem. Um, now let's compare the prices. Let's compare uh, the pricing first. So if you are you know, just buying a hosting package and uh, going to uh, install WordPress on it. Then generally, like, you know, uh, if you look at this, this is Bluehost package starts at like, you know, three, around $4 per month. And uh, during sale, you can get even for two or $3 per month, or you can try other hosting companies. So these hosting companies provide you space. And as you can see here, like you can host up to 10 websites, a lot of storage, you know, you can easily move this website anywhere. SEO and everything is provided here. But if you use any uh, AI builder, now look at the pricing of these kind of AI builder, like Wix is also providing an AI builder and other softwares also are having similar prices. You end up paying from $17 per month, $30 per month and so on. And uh, they're like, you know, you, you are kind of restricted. You cannot easily move your website or platform to somewhere else tomorrow if you want to. Uh, if you're hosting a website on things like Bluehost or somewhere, right? You can easily move it tomorrow to AWS or any other platform as your website size increases, or you can increase your size limit in this uh, hosting thing. So you save a lot of money and like, you know, uh, one good thing about hosting uh, on these kind of platform uh, on WordPress is, so like, you know, you just pay this much amount and you can keep spinning new website after other. So as it offers a 10 website hosting, you can like, you know, add 10 more website and you don't have to pay anything extra for same cost. Uh, you just have to buy our domain uh, and pay annual fees, but uh, it remains same irrespective of, you know, uh, which platform you use. So if you compare this, like, you know, $4 per month uh, hosting um, where you can have unlimited uh, like 10 or more websites, it's almost, you know, free compared to uh, these packages where you may end up paying, you know, say $360. Now, another advantage uh, of hosting on WordPress is that it has a massive ecosystem. There are like, you know, thousands or maybe 60,000 plus plugins which you can use, themes which you can use to build your website. It provides out-of-the-box integration with a lot of different software. So if you're building a website on WordPress, right, it's really powerful, robust, uh, and you can easily scale it up uh, as you grow. And a lot of large companies are having their websites built on WordPress. 
So it is, you know, you can say kind of future proof website will kind of, you know, continue to live long, uh, long life. Okay, so today uh, we are going to edit uh, one of the old site which I'm having like this site is maybe 8 10 year old and we are going to edit it uh, using chat GPT okay. AI. So it shared a uh, like, lot you know, of these, new, you know, to, you know uh, different words. themes. So, so like, you know, let's go, let's go chat GPT to uh, and WordPress in. and, you know, try some of these. Okay, so what we are going to do is ask chat GPT. So like, you know, once you log in, some of the uh, WordPress and themes, here there's appearance, to, theme, uh, or, you know, and then version. like, you know, we can, we'll, we are going to search for some of these themes. So first, let's go O-Shine. Okay, let's see how it is. Okay, it's not available here. So what we have to do is we have to go here, add theme, and then search here. Okay. So this is... Okay, this is fine, but uh, let's keep looking. Okay, so this is one of the theme which is available. So let's preview this theme. Um, it looks cool. Okay. Uh, so let's, so this theme looks good. Let's install it and see, you know, uh, how it changes the look and feel. Let's activate it. Okay. So now let's see how our website has changed. Okay, wow, it is looking good. So this is like, you know, uh, with one way you can just use, wow, it's looking awesome. So what you can do is find some of the themes uh, which are suggested by ChatGPT and change it and voila, your website will be updated. Uh, same thing you can do when you are creating a new website. And uh, now what we can do is you can go and update some of these things like, you know, um, which are provided as a template. So let's go appearance now we can go to editor yep and edit here different components uh, so that's the best part about um, you know uh, wordpress easily you can uh, change things i'm just deleting this So, you know, you can make some, make your dream home more beautiful, cool. Okay. Great. So when you make uh, changes to design, you can come here and save it. Okay. And now we can go back. Okay, now some of those things are gone, those big phone numbers and all. Uh, we can delete this uh, email and other stuff. So this is one way, uh, find a theme, create a WordPress website on that theme, which generally we do, but uh, 
chat gpt can help us in uh, finding out different themes now other thing which we can do is um, say you want to kind of clone uh, one of the existing website so uh, i mean you can ask chat gpt to suggest different websites um, and go there so where is chat gpt can you please share some of the interior decoration home interior decoration related websites so here it suggests you know lot of website so you can go through these one by one so you know for example this dwell.com this is how it looks and what else is it suggesting studio maggie okay cool so yep studio maggie and to be honest i like this look and feel uh, so let's see you know if you want to um, copy this look and feel how you should go about it then first what you have to do is like you know take a screenshot Let me take some of this section, below section also. Okay, now what you do is, what we can do is we can ask ChatGPT to create a HTML page using the screenshot. So let's go to ChatGPT and let's attach the photo which we have taken. Okay. And then ask ChatGPT, can you please create a HTML page using attached design? Create a new website. Okay. So now Let's see what it is doing. Okay, so it has created, you know, this page for us. You don't have to go through the headache and, you know, create it like, you know, it's doing everything for you. And it is giving you instruction also that replace the image file this with the actual image and whatnot. So, so first what we'll do is we'll copy this HTML page. Now let's go back to our uh, WordPress. So, uh, you know, one thing, what we will do is we will just see by creating a new page. So you go to this page option in your WordPress, add a page. And here you have option to uh, add different blocks. So here we will add a HTML block, custom HTML, okay. so. Here we are adding a custom HTML block and we will just uh, copy paste the code which we have, uh, which um, ChatGPT has provided us. Okay. So we have copy pasted this thing and ChatGPT asks us to replace this image with something else, right? So for now, to make it easy, what I will do is I will just download their image. So I'll just download this image, you know, right click, save image. And then um, after downloading this image, what I'm, I'm going to do is go to, go back, I'll go back to WordPress. And here I have option to uh, update images. So where it says set feature image, right? Just click on it, uh, upload a new Im file. Okay, so we'll select a file. Okay, and upload the file. And once the file is uploaded, what we are going to do is we are going to copy uh, the URL. So let's give it a minute, it's gonna upload it. Let's copy this URL and we are not going to set it as a feature image, but go back and replace this 
URL with the image or with the URL which we just copied. Okay, so this is done. Now let's do a preview and see how it looks. Okay, great. So this is, it's showing our theme, but if you see here, it has brought that, you know, Studio McGee design. And, you know, you can add more things if you want here. So this is like, you know, one way of creating website. So you can take a screenshot of any website, uh, create a HTML component, and then put that HTML component on whatever website you're creating. Now these side menus and all, if you want, you can go to your WordPress setting and, you know, get rid of them. And on top, you see this edit site option. So then click on edit site. And then you come here, select it and just delete from here. This also delete. This also. Okay, so now you can see that, you know, we were able to bring uh, or copy actually that page or design here. So thanks for staying all the way to the end. So some of the free resources which you can use uh, and I've dropped a link below. Uh, first is a complete course on AI agents, uh, which will help you in learning AI agents and how you can automate most of your tasks. Uh, and another uh, resource is like, you know, uh, major tips and tricks related to chat GPT. Uh, it'll help you in using ChatGPT and other LLMs to fullest. Don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any of the upcoming episode. And uh, you can also check out our previous videos to learn about some of the AI coding uh, and AI agent tools.